So this is not the most common of, uh, of situations because you normally see these boys out the front uh, by themselves, but there's there's a few boys in here and some females as well, which is really nice to see. A couple of females just over here, giraffe in the background. I love this place. Yeah, that's very nice. So you've got these males here with this massive boss on their head. That massive, the boss is that middle part of the horns. And uh, on the females, there's a female directly behind. Just uh, Sorry, there's a female directly behind here, I think, coming up, coming up. Over the other side here, sorry. And you'll see that their horns, she's got a calf with her. Sorry about that, VM. I just swung around there. She's got a young calf there. The boss or the horns is very, very different on her. You can zoom in there, pick, um, VM, and see. That's a, a very, very different horn structure, and that's the sort of distinguishing feature other than the size of the the, uh, the animals themselves. They're great animals. I love buffalo. I think they're fantastic creatures. They're, they're the Really one of the only non-territorial, look at that little guy. Oh, and his mum. He is so fine. They would just protect him fiercely. They protect each other fiercely. I think that's one of the things I love about them. They, uh, they really do bond together or band together when trouble, trouble hits and uh, they look after each other fiercely. He's really nice. They've got massive cheek teeth and a really, really wide row of incisors. So their ability to feed very, very efficiently in long grass is, uh, is, is right up there. They've got very malleable lips and they've got a, they've got a prehensile tongue. That tongue, it's not as long as a, as a giraffe's, of course, but that tongue allows them to reach out and grab bunches of grass and pull it back and grind it up with those massive cheek teeth and... Uh, and incisors. So they're very efficient feeders in the long grass um, and they graze and graze and graze and they're just moving and walking and grazing as we're speaking now. I'm not going to chase them on but I think it's a really nice thing just to sit and watch them and let them pass. We've got our giraffes that we saw over here this morning there but buffalo, just back to them, they're, they're non-territorial so it's sort of, I like to call it the there's a great book uh, called A Safari Companion, and uh, if you can get, that's a great, great thing to get your hands on as well. Uh, there's lots of things in there, and they refer to that. The author refers to that as a, as a, the, the Buffalo Nation. I just love that. I think it's such a great way to describe buffalo because they'll come together from small herds like this, or we'll meet up with another herd, and there's no sort of jostling or anything. They just meet up and they congregate, and they'll form a bigger herd but there'll be a clan so there'll be a, a clan like this together and then they'll meet up with another clan and then another couple of clans and they just all get on there might be a little bit of male dominancy obviously when it comes to what males do uh, best at the right time of the year but other than that they just all get on, they're a very sociable creature but they've got this fierce reputation from us that they're incredibly dangerous, well they are but the reason why they are is because they uh, they just want to protect themselves. And uh, one's doing a lovely behaviour right down there. If you can just go to the right, mate, a little bit. Uh, you've got a bull down there doing this sort of bizarre neck rubbing gesture. Is that bull uh, left a little bit left, 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 left. He's just there, that one in the middle there. Yeah, he might do it again. This bizarre neck rubbing and face rubbing beha behaviour they do. So 
So we just got a question in from Candria in Manitoba in Canada. Thank you so much for your question. Um, and it's a question that a lot of people ask. How do you tell the difference between different different animals? And uh, the, her question is about how, how do you t tell the difference between uh, male and female buffalo? Well, we all know that most people say other than the obvious Candria, but that's, that's, we, we know that. That's not always easy to see. Uh, but the things that you can see when telling the difference between uh, buffalo is the size of those horns. Those horns are much more prominent on the males than they are on the females. Uh, the males have got that big, lumpy, bulbous part in the middle called the boss, uh, which we're looking at right now on the screen. Uh, and then a female will come through to the right. That's the calf, and then the mum is just behind that. You can see the, the horn structure on that is much, much smaller. Um, and that will stay pretty much like that. She will get a bit bigger that but not nowhere near as big as the male. And look at the, the shape in body, uh, sorry, the size in body uh, size there. The but males are a lot more chunkier and robust. Uh, the females are a little bit leaner and slighter in shape. Um, and the, the males definitely have a lot more muscle mass or, or body bulk on them. So that's probably the, most, the easiest way to distinguish between a male and female uh, buffalo. That was lovely. Excellent. And look at them, they're just walking off down to either have a drink or get into some cooler area.